recognize it. So I have already put in the hard drive and the hard drive I've chosen is um, this one, which is a performance um, hard drive from Toshiba. Um, specifically the reason why I chose it is because it has a very high RPM and has a very stable um, buffering um, at 128 to 56. Um, so I've chosen a four gigabyte version of it. And as you can see, um, I cannot see it onto my, um, right here you cannot see. So this is just my C drive, the main drive, but there is no ex um, extra drive here. So what you need to do is actually initiate and format the drive. So I'm gonna show you how to actually do that now. So you just come here. So you can either t come here and type in uh, disk and you will see this thing pop up. Uh, so you can click this or you can come here and you can just um, find it here, disk management. Um, the minute you do that, a uh, little pop up like this will uh, uh, populate itself uh, from so look, uh, let me start again. So you get a window like this. And a pop-up would um, appear right now um, telling you that it's detected a uh, physical disk. Now, uh, just so I can show you with you together how to actually do it, you can see that these are all the disks that the PC has already got, which is a C drive. And disk zero is the uninitiated, initialized and unformatted drive, which is the Toshiba. So how you actually do it is you click this. Um, hold on a minute. You come here, just in this section here, where it says disk zero, right click it and and click initialize disk. Now you're gonna get, this is the disk that you are trying, this is the one you've just installed. Um, and you'll have two options here, um, the master boot record and GPT. Um, for most of the time, uh, those, the modern hard drives, uh, which are over two terabytes, I would recommend you use GPT partitioning. Uh, rather than the MBR. Um, so if it's anything less than that, you can choose the MBR, but um, as I'm installing a four gigabyte, um, four terabyte version, um, I'm gonna go to GPT. So you press okay. And now is found it and but it is not formatted and it's not, uh, hasn't got an allocation to it for the PC to actually find it. So you can see here, uh, um, you click it there and it's still not, it's still not visible. There you go. Click a new simple um, volume and follow the wizard. Um, I would say you just leave this as a default. Don't touch anything there. Um, you, this is where you can assign um, different uh, lettering to it. Um, you can go A, B, C, you can go all the way down. Um, I normally just leave it um, as the default um, setting that the PC has found. So I've got a C drive. I can, I think I'll, I can do a D drive on this one, but D drive seems to be allocated to something. So let's leave it as E this is where you can label the volume you can delete it and it will just say a uh, volume um, the disk e but just for demonstration i'm going to actually put it in the uh, toshiba for tb so i know what it is um also x fat which is not common now unless you've got a particular reason to use um, XFAT. Um, normally it is NTFS, so choose NTFS unless you've got reason to um, choose the otherwise. Um, leave this as default, don't touch that, but the allocation of unit size, leave it default. And as it's a brand new, fresh 
hard drive um, I'm just gonna do a quick format you can untick this and you can do a longer format which is uh, um, you know if you want to be extra have an extra OCD you can do this but it's not always necessary so a quick format is totally fine so let's do that um, tells you all the stuff that is going to be doing uh, let's finish up and now it's done and you can see a window has popped up um, showing that a new hard drive has been detected and found by the PC there you go that's the new drive that we have created and allocated to the system hopefully that was helpful to you guys now you can um, close this down and uh, yeah you're done your new hard drive is installed and you just repeat the same step for um, any other new drives that you actually install so uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, it was helpful to you guys and uh, do subscribe so we can give you more helpful tips and tricks um, for your PC have a good day